So you have decided to start to invest your money. This is a very uh, interesting uh, point in your life where you transition from a mere mortal to a full-blown investor. Let's look into how some of the, the overall steps uh, you have to go through when you start investing. First of all, the reasons why you want to invest can be many. Uh, and there are many, many good re reasons why you would want to invest your money. One reason could be that like you really, really like uh, the FIRE movement, financial independence, retire early, really like its idea about like becoming financial independence and don't don't have to work uh, yourself uh, till you are you are an old man or old woman you really maybe you like that maybe this is why you want to start investing or maybe you simply just want to start investing really just to see your money growth maybe it could be for your a retirement account to see that grow and really become substantial over the years another reason you maybe want to start to invest is like maybe you have after a lot of thought uh, you have actually realized that trading your time, trading your very limited time for money is really not a good way to go. At least it will never make you financially independent, really. It will never really make you a free person. So you have you understand that trading money for time is not what you want to do. Uh, instead, you want investing. Also, you maybe just want you want to earn money while you are asleep. You don't again, you don't have to trade time for money instead you just get money accumulating all the time uh, seven days a week 365 days a year so this could be some of the reasons why you have decided to start investing uh, and started to, uh, to to begin on this very exciting journey in your life but now you have decided you want to invest what should you do now first of all and very important Keep in mind or remember why was it you wanted to invest. Do you want to obtain financial freedom? Do you just want your money to grow? What is the goal of your investing? Why is it you want to do it? Because investing is not the goal in itself. It's a, a, a road to, a, to another goal. So keep that in mind because that will keep you on track in your investment career and also de determine how you should invest and so on. But this will take another time. But remember why you want to invest. Now you are ready to invest. You have decided you want to invest and you know why you want to invest. But now you will actually get something. There is a barrier actually. Even now if you have taken the decision you want to invest, there is a barrier. And this barrier is actually real. It's a psychological barrier. Because now you start to think, am I really ready for it? Investing is rather serious. Maybe this is something for banks or Wall Street and so on. Uh, you can maybe get nervous because it's unknown territory for you, but this is perfectly normal. But remember, this barrier is purely in your head. In reality, the barrier for starting to invest now in this modern age with internet uh, and so on is very, very little. Normally, in many cases, you can start invest in less than two minutes by a smartphone. The barrier is in your head and you just need to surpass it. Uh, and you need to figure out how to do this, but you will likely have a little bit of doubt when you're about to start your investing career. Now, you want to invest, you remember why you want to invest, and you have surpassed this barrier. The next step is to do it. So how do you do it, and what should you invest in? There are many ways to do it. The traditional way to invest is through your bank. Your banks have a, likely a lot of different investment options for you, and actually many banks also have some rather modern investments uh, uh, opportunities for you nowadays, not only just the old-fashioned, ultra-conservative investments as in your, the days of your grandparents. The banks have cash up and become a little bit more modern, that's really good. But also there's a lot of different brokers, like online brokers, uh, like you probably know a lot of them, like Robinhood, M1 Finance, Ituro, Repo, um, Plus500 and so on. There's a lot of opportunities. Look into the internet if you want to know all of these opportunities, but there is unlimited uh, possibilities nearly. Or do you want to invest through investment funds or so on? Here you de decide what you want to do. If you're a little bit more conservative uh, and unsure about it, maybe go for the banks. If you want to explore it a little bit more by yourself and really learn and really take more active part in investing, maybe considering doing some of the investing yourself through like some kind of online brokers as the one I just mentioned. 
Now, what should you invest in? Should you invest in stocks, bonds, indexes, ETFs, commodities, or even cryptos, or a combination of these? This really depends on why you invest and what you want to achieve, and also really what you want to achieve, what rewards are you looking for in the here in investments, and also what risk are you willing to take, because this is really important. The reward risk you're willing to take also also determines what you're willing to invest in. If you want a a conservative, a okay, decent reward, uh, but a very very low, very low risk, then cryptocurrency investing is probably not for you, uh, um, so on. But it's really look into this. What what is interesting for you? Is it interesting to invest in stocks like choose interesting companies with good financials or do you want to invest in broad index and ETS where you don't really try to outperform the market, but just try to follow the market um, in an easy way? And finally, the biggest thing within investment is be patient. You will not become rich within a week or a month. Give it what financial assets you buy. Give it time to mature, to really show its strength and power. Give it half a year, one year, two years, five years, ten years, or even more. And more importantly, control your emotions. Because you are very likely, when you make your first investment, you buy your first stocks, then after a week you see the stock starts to drop. Oh, I'm losing 5%, 10%. This is here where you should control your emotions. You have chosen that investment because you believe in it. Keep to it, uh, at least for some time. D don't be... Be, be worried about these red numbers you start to see. This is perfectly normal. Control your emotions, otherwise your investment career will never be success. So be patient and control emotions. Now you have done all this. You are starting to invest. What now? Now this is just the beginning of your investment career. You have just started. You are a newbie, but you want to be an expert over time. So what you should learn? You should learn Keep learning, look into this investment area, research onto it, um, like, and still have patience. So do some research. What are other people doing? How should I understand the financials? Focus on your goals. Try to improve how you invest uh, your results, like what, what, what was not working right here? What could I have done instead? And, and really try to understand uh, the world, this financial world of investing. Because it's also a very interesting world, so it's not just boring. It's actually really interesting. Plus, it can actually you you gain money from looking into something really interesting. And also, very important, be consistent uh, of how you do it uh, and focus. Uh, really, if you do all these things, you will go from a newbie investor to a more skillful investor to an expert investor over years or decades. And this will really be valuable for you in your life. And not only from a financial point of view, but also like as a personal uh, 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 personal journey for you as an investor and as a person. Um, but this is just very simple how to start investing and some of the barriers and what you need to consider. Very short uh, and very, uh, yeah, not in depth.